husband got me, my little sister, and my best friend pregnant all at the same time. Oh, I got to put glasses on. You first. heard that right. Oh. Okay, so we all find out that we're pregnant. Me, my little sister, and my best friend. We all find out we're pregnant like within a week and a half of each other. Our due dates are all in the same week. Same week, okay? Mm. My little sister says it's her boyfriend's baby. Great, cool, sounds good. My best friend says it's like her booty calls baby. Okay, no problem girl, no judgment here. Let's just go, right? We do everything everything's going we're doing everything together right we're going shopping for baby stuff we're making our baby registries we're doing the whole thing together and we are planning a baby shower I right i don't know a baby shower and i'm like okay well let's invite your men let's invite the baby daddies bring it on right and my sister's boyfriend tells her that he wants a DNA test because surprise, surprise, he was out of town. He was out of town when she got pregnant. Mm -hmm. And my best friend's booty call says that he wants a DNA test because uh, she could have been sleeping with anyone pretty much. So they do a DNA test. Yeah, Turns out neither of those guys are the father of their, of their babies right so i'm like well who else could it be who are you guys sleeping with like let's just um mm, 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 mm. so we're at the baby shower i still don't know i don't know who the, who the baby daddies are because they haven't told me so we're there with our whole family around us and um the room it's at my mom's house i walk into the laundry room there's my husband making out with my best friend like hand up her dress. Nah, nah, nah. Nope. I'm like, what's going on here? Of course, they come out and tell me if, that the baby's his and blah 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 blah. And I go, okay, what the hell? Um, and then my sister walks in behind me and goes, what the hell's going on in here? You and I are having a baby together. And I go, hoo hoo. Excuse me. Mm hmm. Not proud of it, but mm hmm. Because what the hell? My baby sister and my best friend. Nah, nah. I, I, I'm calling cap. Something, something about this tell me is clickbait. Cause what man in a right mind go put all y'all in the same room, and then be putting his hand? You know what? It might not be cap. Now that I say it out loud, that, that might be some idiots out there that does this. Wow. I st something just not off about what she's saying. Not me. Not off. Something's not right about what she's saying but y'all let me know in the comments have y'all heard stories like this before have you could this be actually true i don't believe it something about it is weird to me but you know i ain't gonna hold y'all too long let's move on to the next video i don't give a fuck what no grown man on this app say they're lying their ass off if your man if your man likes you you're in a relationship together you boyfriend girlfriend and he likes you keyword likes you He's going to do whatever you say. He's going to do whatever you tell him. He's going to move when you move. I don't give a fuck how broke he is. If he Facts. he's going to make the motherfucking trees shake into some dollar bills fall off. And that's Facts. if he likes. You. Oh no, that's just how Jay is. That's how he act. No, that's not how Jay act. That's how Jay act with you. Cause Jay yeah, don't fucking exactly, like you. My boy. Man, we are simple ladies. We are not fucking complicated. Y'all make shit complicated because you want to fix him. And fellas, yep. if you are in that relationship, cause I have been in that shit too, where I know for a fact. This girl ain't nothing but a chapter in my life. Don't get me wrong. It was a very, very fun or a very enjoyable chapter. Don't that was very fun. But that's not my end game. That's not my fucking wife. So just yep. go ahead and tell her straight up. Y'all not trying to date no more. You want to fuck around until your end game wife come along, bro. Stop wasting each other time. Get out that damn relationship. Save y'all some both some time, stress, and money. And is that it's that simple. It's that's how relationships should all go. You like me? He gonna move. He don't like you? He not gonna move. That's exactly. me. Exactly. Yo, I don't know who this man been talking to or what he experienced in life because he, cause he looks young. But ladies, if you are listening to me, a man will move mountains if he truly thinks you're the one. If he truly loves you and like you, he gonna do whatever he gotta do. Get his money up. Change that job. If you, you gotta relocate, he gonna relocate you. If he thinks you're the one. I mean... You name it. If it's necessary, if he knows you, you're worth it, and you're the one, he's gonna do it. I ain't gonna hold y'all too long, but I'm just gonna tell you straight up. 
For for instance, like once I got with my wife and we started having kids, I made more money now than I could have ever imagined making. Not just social media, I got different streams of income, all right? And I knew I was going to have to do that because I wanted to have a family with her. I wanted to be able to provide for my family with her staying at home, being a stay-at-home wife. She wanted the same things, but I I wasn't capable of, capable of doing it. So what did I do? I got my shit together. All right, I ain't going to hold you out too long. I'm just telling you, ladies, if you're watching this, if he thinks you are the one and he truly likes you and he loves you, he going to move mountains. All right, let's go on to the next video. I don't want to hold you out too long. Do men come with communication or do we have to buy that separately? I'm asking for a friend. Well, young lady, that just depends. Are you a one-time purchase or are you subscribing? Because if you subscribing to it, you might come with a little communication with some work. But if you just a one-time purchase, you feel me? Nah. What's the point of communicating with something you know ain't going to never come back around? Or it's a one-time use. Y'all come, ladies, why y'all come with these questions? All right? If a man shows emotions, y'all think he's soft. When he don't show emotions, he don't communicate. What kind of, I mean, you're young. I ain't going to attack you or whatever. But if you got to get online and ask these questions, he ain't the man for you. All right? You stress, if you stressing yourself out to the point where you got to get in your car and post this, nah, man, just keep it pushing. You know? It, it's just that simple. It's that simple. No man should cause you that much stress to where you have to get online and, you know, ask a silly question like this. And by one time purchase, you know what I mean. Fellas, you definitely know what I mean. If you're still watching, that means, you know, you're a little entertained. So I'm going to ask you nicely. Go ahead and hit that like button. If you're here again for the second time, that means you've been liking something. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button. All right. I'm trying to get that 5K, that 5K. We're moving up to the semi-family. Come join the semi-family. We talk about all things. You know, we do reaction videos. We talk about politics. We talk about anything that comes to my mind. All right. If you're still here, hit that subscribe button. I will see you next video.